Uh, I love the whole chapter here you have about mission statements and why the mission is so important to articulate in a way that is easy to remember and devoid of jargon. Uh, well, I don't want to put you on the spot, Jeff, but what's Twilio's mission statement? And, and <laughs> how is it easy to remember and devoid of jargon? Our mission statement is short and simple. We are here to fuel the future of communications. And communications is sort of obvious. That's what human beings do. That's what we enable our customers to do better as companies. We let them engage with their customers. And fuel speaks to the fact that we are a company that provides the infrastructure that enables our customers to go build all the things that they want to do. And so as an infrastructure provider, we see ourselves as the fuel to their fire. Now, we could have said be the infrastructure that blah, 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 but we thought that fuel is, gives a sense of, uh, you know, it's aspirational. Yeah. It's, it feels big. It feels purposeful. And so crafting those words, you both want to relay the message, but also, you know, make the, the reader feel something. And I think that's the combination. You know, one of the stories that I relay in the book, because um, I hear from executives all the time, but how, how do I, like, we don't have a lot of developers. We don't have any developers. How do we go about hiring them? You know, we're like an old school company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my answer to them is, well, what an amazing opportunity for those developers to be a big fish in a small pond to really affect the trajectory of your organization. And I tell the story of Patrick Doyle, the CEO of Domino's Pizza. And Domino's Pizza is one of these sleeper success stories of the last decade. This is rarely known. It's kind of funny. But if you look at their stock chart for the past decade, it outperforms many of the major tech companies. That's because Domino's went from being a pizza chain to being a tech company. And it happened pretty quietly under everyone's noses. And Patrick Doyle, the CEO, started that process by recruiting a technical leader. And basically his pitch to the technical leader was this. You are going to help me transform Domino's, not just from a pizza chain, but into the leading, not just delivery, but rapid service food provider. Of, uh, I'm kind of making this up now. <laughs> so the words are going to be bad. You're going to help me transform Domino's into a technology company that is, you know, delivering basically everything to customers that makes them, that fills their bellies, right? Yeah, thanks and, for reminding me. I remember the story. It's a good yeah, story. Yeah. And the technical leader, uh, a guy named Kevin, who was hired, um, you know, I talked to him for the book and they're a customer of Twilio's. I talked to him and he said, you know, I went into the meeting. I wasn't really thinking I was going to go work at Domino's. I kind of took the meeting as a favor, right? And he walked out incredibly inspired and said, wow, imagine the impact I can have by transforming Domino's and making the experience of ordering a pizza as easy as, you know, hailing a, a car with Uber or Lyft, right? Wow. And that was a decade long mission that he and his team then went down to transform the experience of Domino's. And I love that story because it shows how if you instill this sense of mission and this sense of purpose, any company can hire amazing technical talent because they have the opportunity to truly impact the organization.